today i am going to discuss about schrodinger's wave equation this topic belongs to quantum mechanics lesson in 1926 schrodinger developed a wave equation for the moving particles particles like electrons especially one of its form can be derived by simply incorporating the de broglie wavelength expression into the classical wave equation he created this equation or he developed in wave equ equ equation he developed a equation by incorporating the de broglie wave equation to one classical wave equation if a particle of mass m moving with a velocity v is associated with a group of waves suppose a particle is trapped in a wave so definitely the particle should follow the wave motion let psi be the wave function of the particle also let us consider a simple form of uh, progressing wave like the one represented by equation so the this is a simple harmonic wave equation psi is equal to sin naught into sin of omega t minus ks kx this is equation number 1 this actually this equation belongs to simple harmonic lesson here we utilized this symbol this is psi psi represents a wave function where psi is equal to psi of x and t psi not gives a, a an amplitude here a typical form of equation for simple harmonic wave traveling in x direction as time t the wave number k is equal to 2 pi by lambda this k value is 2 pi by lambda the ratio of uh, uh, phase difference and path difference omega angular velocity is equal to 2 pi nu nu means frequency or uh, 2 pi by t t means time period then nu is equal to 1 by t these are the basic formula now differentiating equation 1 with respect to x partially so differentiate this equation with respect to x partial do psi by do x into sin naught into cos omega t minus kx of minus k again differentiate the above equation so do square psi by do x square is equal to minus sin naught into k square sin omega t minus kx then take k square the here then the remaining will be sin naught into sin omega t minus kx kx this is similar to equation 1 that is psi so put psi value here then do square psi by do x square is equal to minus k square into psi then do square psi by do x square plus k square psi is equal to 0 this is equation number 2 here we eliminated the trigonometric terms from the equation now we have to replace each and every term from equation 3 onwards now we have to put k value k replace k value which is k is equal to 2 pi by lambda in equation 2 then do square psi by do x square is equal to 2 pi by lambda means 4 pi square by lambda square into psi is equal to 0 this is equation 3 equation 2 and 3 is the differential form of the classical wave equation there is still these two equations are in classical form now we have to now we incorporate de broglie wavelength in in expression that is lambda is equal to h by m v into equation 3 here lambda means wavelength according to classical wavelength is equal to wavelength is the distance between two crust or two trough of a wave but according to de broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by mv h means planck's constant m means mass of the particle v means velocity of the particle that means electron now substitute h by mv in equation 3 that is do square psi by do x square plus 4 pi square by h by mv whole square into psi is equal to 0 now do square psi by do x square plus this is 4 pi square then m square v square by h square 
into psi is equal to 0. This is equation number 4. Now we have to eliminate these classical terms mv values here. These two terms, this momentum we have to eliminate. The total energy E of the particle in the sum of its kinetic en and energy K and potential energy V. Then E is equal to K plus V. Then E is equal to half mv square plus V. Then E minus V is equal to half mv square. Then take this two towards the left hand side. Then 2 into E minus V is equal to mv square. Multiply m both sides. Then we get m square v square. Therefore, m square v square is equal to 2m into e minus v. Now put this 2m into e minus v instead of m square v square in equation 4. Then dou square psi by dou x square plus 4 pi square into 2m into e minus v by h square into psi is equal to 0. This is equation number 6. Now write separately. 4 pi square by h square here, dou square psi by dou x square plus 4 pi square by h square into 2m into e minus v into psi is equal to 0. Now, this equation becomes dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m into e minus v by h cross square into psi is equal to 0. This is equation number 7 because h cross is equal to h by 2 pi. h cross is equal to h by 2 pi according to Bohr. So, I replaced uh, this value with h cross. So, in this above equation represents Schrodinger's one dimensional time independent wave equation. This equation represents one dimensional Schrodinger's time independent wave equation. For a three dimensional wave equation, we have to add y and z also. So, dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square plus 2m into e minus v by h cross square into psi is equal to 0. This is 8th equation. This represents 3 dimensional time independent wave equation where psi is equal to psi of x, y, z. Using Laplace in operator, we can minimize this 3 dimensional wave equation because del square is equal to dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square. This is ninth equation. Put ninth equation in eighth equation. We get del square psi plus 2m into e minus v by h cross square into psi is equal to 0. This is the Schrodinger wave equation and called time independent wave equation. This also three dimensional wave equation. So this is very very easy question. You can answer. This is very easy proof. What I choose is, it is very very easy proof. First of all, I took one wave equation, then differentiated once, then differentiated again also, then I was eliminated this trigonometric term, then simplified this equation, then substituted k value 2 pi by lambda, this equation, equation 2, then we got equation 3. Then I replaced lambda value. This is classical value. I replaced lambda value with de Broglie wavelength here. Then I simplified. Then I got equation 4. Then I was replaced this m square v square with the help of the total energy is equal to k plus v kinetic energy plus y potential energy. Then uh, finally I got m square v square is equal to 2m into e minus v. I substituted in equation uh, uh, 4 here. Then I got this equation. Then I simplified this 4 pi square by h square as 1 by h cross square according to Bohr equation. Then I got uh, I got one dimensional wave equation. This is seventh equation. Basing on this equation, I wrote a three dimensional wave equation like dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square plus 2m into e minus v by h cross square into psi is equal to 0. This is the eighth equation. Again, I simplified this three dimensional equation by using Laplacian operator. Del is equal to this thing. So finally, I put ninth equation in eighth equation. Then I got del square psi plus 2m into e minus v by h cross square into psi is equal to 0. This is, this represents the three dimensional Schrodinger's time independent wave equation. Okay.
Thank you.